Hi, this is Mark Meshelum, the Chicago Window Expert. Many buildings here in Chicago are plagued by masonry leaks, and frequently they revolve around the use of uh, either a split face block, which is highly porous, or um, a poor mortar mix and allows moisture in between the individual bricks. And further, there can be design problems where the wall construction is missing a moisture barrier. This building here suffers a very serious uh, leaks. Today we're going to hang a spray rack off the roof and test this corner which is suffering terribly from water leakage. This roof is hot. Here's where I gotta go. Good, easy. And as I'm coming down the ladder, this is the famous split face black. This is looking down. But it's very porous. If you're gonna use this material, you better make sure that your water handling system, the backup system that's supposed to be behind this is intact. Ten minute areas. After a while these markings will give us a pattern. Okay, you see all of this is happening. There's one up here. And this is all the side where the split face block is. Oh now this is dripping right through this crazy penetration. So this is obviously a, not a very nice spot, but there's just the active drip taking place right here, right now. And at this point we are not even 15 minutes into the test. So here we have a nice view of the internals of this new split block. Okay, this is inside a concrete block, and we could see water is dripping right down inside there. This is the importance of marking, because we could see what happened at 10 minutes. Now we're at 20 minutes, so I'm going to mark it again, and we'll see the additional. We're coming to the end of our level one test, level one being the first floor of the building. And we could see that the back side of the split face block wall has failed pretty dismally. The markings are the time duration when these areas were first noticed. There's actually a, a drop of water just hanging there. Can you see that little drop? Detailing is so important with these walls. Okay, we've completed our first round of testing at level one. And now we've got the spray rack set at the second level and we're going to begin for at least a half hour. Okay, we're 10 minutes into our test on level two. It's time to come down to level one and see what's happening. And it's not a pretty picture. Very active, large volumes of water coming through this cutout in the wall. So the area that we originally marked with the marker is far exceeded in all the areas that I can see. And how'd you like that happening inside your wall? where the water can go right into the insulation and soak it, create mold. And then on the interior, that side was sheet plastic, vapor barrier, so that water would have no way to evaporate out. The water is just running along that uh, through wall flashing and just going to the inside, which points out the need to upturn your through wall flashing. At 15 minutes into the test, the level two east wall, the split face block wall, is starting to show some serious failures. Now I noticed there's a big blotch of water underneath the window on the north elevation, which is where the soap bricks are. And when we look inside here, we can see that uh, there's water. And I'll complete the drawing right now. Gee, it looks like a certain country I know. And that will now be marked at 25 minutes. So you can see that this type of marking shows you the passage of time. So when the wall starts to fail for wet for water, and the path and water paths are all connecting up, and the surface tensions are starting to be exceeded, all moisture breaks loose. That flashing that's supposed to keep 
water to the exterior is just simply not doing its job. Okay, now our rack placement is following the contour of the roof. We should get good coverage, and that'll be our last area. Into the test on level three, we're seeing this corner, all of the individual spots of penetration are starting to join up and blend into one. And this is, this is actually visibly wet. The floor down here is actively wet. So it's a fascinating process watching these leaks grow. Uh, usually this area would be hidden inside a wall and no one would ever see it. But we have the benefit of getting inside the wall and seeing what really can happen and it's, it's really pretty much a scary sight. We are 30 minutes into the level 3 test, but we dropped back down to level 2 and things are getting worse. Take a look. Got water running and dripping right over that flashing. If that flashing were turned up the way it was supposed to be detailed, that water would be flowing to the exterior. But right now we're talking about what could be a quart of water in 15 minutes. Uh, just coming through one spot. Not to mention, take a big shot of all of this. This whole wall just going crazy. This wall is only one block thick. This block right here is a half a block thickness. The through wall flashing comes over the top of it, down the face of it, and down to the next mortar joint above this block. This block is one block thickness. It's not a block and block wall. It's just one. So the split face you see on the outside, this is the back side of the split face on the inside. There's no second line of defense. There's no first line of defense. Solid water right here. You know, you don't have to go visit the Mammoth Cave. <laughs> right here. It's right here in your wall. Okay. A lot of activity in there, dripping all over the place. And this could happen in a rainstorm. It's not just test conditions. This could be real. This is real. This is real. At the conclusion of test three, this is what the test area looks like. We're now going to do a hose test on the back side of the parapet. We felt that we didn't learn enough about what was happening at the parapet. We didn't have enough water showing up in our spray test. So we have the guys uh, spraying the back side of the parapet up there. And uh, within just a few minutes, we've got another leak. See those three distinct drip marks that weren't there before? The lesson here is when you're looking for leaks and you find one, don't give up. Keep testing. That's the end of our testing for today. Now we've got to write a report and uh, come up with a plan for how to fix this.